Here is a video for all my English speaking friends who've been asking me about what is this content that you share in French that I don't understand. I wanted to do a specific video here for you guys. But basically, you know, I've been sharing in uh, dozens and dozens of videos the mindset that I've learned in the US of that can do attitude mindset. The idea that when you have a strong enough why, you can carry almost anyhow. That you've got to push towards your dreams, that your dreams may become a reality if you not only believe in them, that's the mindset, but also work hard towards them. And this is really what I've been sharing for the past 10 years through my business, Siegel Institute. And um, I've been fortunate enough to speak to thousands of students about soaring to their highest potential and living their dreams. But what I've come to realize over the past year with COVID that hit me very hard in my personal and professional life is that that mindset of pushing is really good. But with the image that I want to share with you here today is this image of the pendulum. The pendulum goes always you know, back and forth in a movement, in a sway. And I want to say what I've come to realize over the past year is pushing is great. But you've got to have this balance also of letting it go. And between that balance of pushing and letting it go, you create and you obtain, I think, what you desire. So that's been my research for the past over a year now. And what I want to share with you is that I'm right here at the moment in the castles of all the kings of France, except Louis XIV who built his own castle. But from François Ier to Napoleon, all the kings stayed here. And this was their retreat place. This is the place they would come and hunt. This is the countryside place that they would come to. You can see it's very tranquil. The atmosphere is very quiet. And this is the image of, that I want to share with you today. As much as I'm, I've been pushing hard, pushing to the point of no return, I feel like, where I pushed and really to the exhaustion level, to the burnout level. What France has brought me, after 18 years of being away from France, you know, like half of my life, is this sense of peace, thought, perspective, and taking a break. So it's very common here to take a one month break of vacation. But this is my second time since COVID taking a two month break. Not everyone can take a two month break and I still do some work here, here and there, a few hours here and there. But what I wanted to share with you guys is as you work really hard pursuing your dream, as you push towards your dream, I think there needs to be that balance with letting it go. And it may be called the art of believing or the magic of believing. But idea that you push, but you also plant your seeds, you water them. But at one point, you've got to trust. You've got to have this faith that things will grow, that you can't control everything, that you, uh, you can't burn yourself down. You've got to water the soil. You've got to take care of the soil. You've got to take care of yourself. And you've got also to, to rest and uh, think strategically as well. That's something I see in Europe a lot, you know, it's that Pareto principle, the 80-20 principle where you want to be strategic also and you can push and do a lot of stuff, go into massive action with Tony Robbins would say, but you've got to be strategic about it. You've got to see what the impact is and you've got to take some rest because you'll be more productive at the end of the day. That's re really what I believe in. Recently, I was talking with one of my employees and I'm like, take a vacation off. Like, take it. Like, I really believe in for the business as an employer, as an entrepreneur myself, that my employees will be more productive as they take those breaks. And of course, the, the break is not just about resting. It's also about reflecting. This is really what this place helps me do. I come here, meditate. And I do what's called the momentum. It's a three-day process during which I set my goals. I do that twice a year. And I envision the future. You've got to believe in the future. You've got to also just let it go. Let it go. What are my inspirations, my ideas? And you've got to have that break and that time to strategize.
So this is really the two cents I wanted to share with you guys because I can share a lot about the can-do attitude. I've been doing it for 10 years now. But really what I feel that people in the US need more is not the pushing more, <laughs> it is the perspective and the pause and that time and space to think, to strategize, to appreciate and to have this gratitude for life and this belief and faith that has helped me go through a roughest challenge of my life personally and professionally with you know fear and anxiety that I went through that faith that you've got you feel it inside of you you've got to believe in it you do all the work you do right that you can but you also hope that the universe will provide as well so this is really that two cents i wanted to share with you if we feel that this is helpful and that you guys want to share more and want me to speak more put me a comment right down here uh, subscribe to this channel of course and i'll create more content if i feel that there's a need out there and that you guys feel it's valuable to you guys so let me know put a comment below and i'll see you soon take care guys